Hey everyone, it's Joan Isaias here from the Automator. And uh, today we have just a really quick tip for you because it's a really weird, weird issue. Isaias, you're the one that both discovered it and figured it out. So why don't you explain what, what happens? Like we, we haven't really figured it out. It's just like we, we have an idea of what might be the problem because um, what happens- Yeah, we don't have the fix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but we know the problem. We have is uninstalling a program basically. So what happens is that if you have a scripts, auto hotkey scripts, and just from the sudden, your hotkeys or hot strings stop working multiple times during the day, it might be that Power Toys is messing with it. So what happens, and in my case, it was basically like my, when my computer was locking, when it came out of the lock or the wake up, like when we woke up or if it was going to sleep or if it was locked, um, my hotkeys would not work and then I had to restart all my scripts, which is what somebody else is actually having the same problem. Like, hey, I, I, I find myself having to reload my scripts two, three times a day. Yeah. And um, I, I just, I, I don't install many programs in my computer. And I was testing Power Toys. And I said, like, let me, let me uninstall Power Toys. As soon as I uninstalled it, like, that problem disappeared completely. Like, I, I hadn't. I didn't get that issue anymore. And then I realized, okay, so it seems like it's Power Toys that is messing with it. Now what happens is that Power Toys has a lot of hotkeys assigned to it, especially Windows hotkeys, like Windows control something, Windows shift something. And it seems to me that the way how they registered the, those hotkeys kind of like messes with the hotkeys that Auto Hotkey creates as well. I'm not sure. I cannot guarantee that that's the thing. What I can guarantee is that as soon as I uninstalled it, like the problem disappeared, you know, like, like, like that. <laughs> right. So, so we, yeah, one is uninstall it. Two is, you know, hey, you could, you could use task manager or sorry, task scheduler to, you know, restart your script. It's dumb, right? But you could have it restart them once an hour. I mean, it, but it's, it, 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 we, we both hate that solution. Right, like it yeah. really is not. You know, I'd rather fix. It. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And basically, the the simplest way that you could do that, and you, Joe, you have method similar to what I'm going to describe. It's just like you create one script that what it does is that it launches all your other scripts, right? right. So if you have three, four, five scripts, you just have one that launches them, and then you have uh, in the task scheduler every one hour or every two hours launching that script that automatically right. launches the other one. Yeah. So. Or or right into that one that launches it, a, a set timer that just loops every hour and relaunches yeah, it as well, right? And it just it means you have to have one more running, right? <laughs> but, exactly, yeah. <laughs> but um, depending on how, like some of my scripts, so when they start up, they come up with a GUI, which would, that was, so that would drive me nuts, right? So um, that's where like that is a horrible solution, so. Anyway, hope you liked that, and thanks. Hope uh, liked the video. If you learned something, really helps us out. Cheers.